Good morning, everyone. My name is Tiffany Frazier. I'm so excited to be here this morning to introduce my dad into the Faculty Hall of Fame. So much to say in so little time, but first things first, what an educational master I think that I've been able to learn from first and foremost, but for all of the students and friends and faculty as well, just the love of teaching and how much effort that is so easily gone into students because it was all from his heart and from joy. And I got to experience that firsthand having him for eighth grade government class and being so thankful and happy to have that as a part of my life. Not only was I able to be in his class, but well, I was able to go to Washington DC on a few different times and different trips with my grandmother as well as my mom and my dad. And so that was really a neat thing. And I remember those Washington DC trips were so important to them and such a neat place to always go back and visit of when the cherry blossom trees blossomed and we were always there. Things like that are really nice memories. Also, just the years of being able to have him after school and him being there for other students after school. I remember a big part of growing up was all about student council and my dad loving to educate kids on how to be a difference in the community, not only in their schools, and the dances and selling the pop and all the fun things that we got to do and learn how to be entrepreneurs as well as feeling like we were somebody and respected and we also got to grow in a very safe and fun environment. Even though I went to East, uh, now my daughter Sophie goes to West and it's a really fun thing to bring back the tradition and have Tonka Pride back in our family. I'm honored for my dad, I know he is too. We're thrilled and we're so thankful. Well, thanks, Tiff, for giving my speech. <laughs> uh, what an honor this is. Uh, Alumni Association, thank you for the work that you do for Minnetonka School District. The founders of this organization are very proud of you. It has been a great ride to be nominated at this point in the journey of life for what you love to do every day. And it's not over for me because right around that corner, room 1602, every other Tuesday, our Rotary Group works with seniors to help them motivation and set their goals higher. Their average increase in grades is at least one grade level higher by the end of our year working with them every other Thursday. So that is wonderful. Uh, the greatest honor is that you were chosen by your former students. I thought I worked the death out of them, and evidently they appreciated it. So it was wonderful. I'd like to talk a little bit about the journey of teaching. Uh, 37 and a half years, I had the privilege of teaching in the best school district in the world. Wonderful teachers great kids, supportive parents. It was an awesome experience. 24 years as a teacher, I mean, 34 years as a teacher, and then to become a counselor, and then I stayed on three and a half years after that as chair of the guidance department and working on graduation standards. So it was a great journey. And uh, I've tried to retire three times now, and it hasn't worked. And so I want to do a little recognition here. Uh, my wife, Karen, and all of our family are here today. And uh, Karen happens to uh, own Excelsior Floors. And there's this little event going on tonight called Homecoming Dance, of which we have over 200 corsages and boutonnieres, and she's taking the time to be here. That's, called, that's what I call love. It's wonderful. And then our three kids, Todd, Trent, and Tiffany, all graduated from here. And four of our five grandchildren attend Minnetonka Public Schools. And so uh, this is the right place to be. It's a wonderful school district. And uh, the journey has been so much fun. I started out teaching eighth grade American government which still is my love. And it's an interesting thing about teachers. 
because uh, when they would say, okay, who wants to do the eighth grade social studies classes? Nobody's hands went up and I'd say, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, I love those guys. And uh, so I always got a chance to do all of the eighth grade American government classes that I'd like to take. Unless they decided they wanted me to do something else that year, like teach geography or teach economics or uh, go on and teach uh, at the high school in psychology. So it was a, a fun thing to do. And then about the third year I was here, I said, hey, we're teaching them all the fundamentals about government and how to be involved and what a great system this is. But we don't, we don't take them anywhere to see this. So I, so I went to the school board and I said, school board, I'd like to take the kids to Washington, D.C. They can see you know, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one, they can see this in real life. Well, too big a risk. So I underwrote the trip myself on a teacher salary. That's the biggest joke. And, um, <laughs> and it was successful. So we had like 60 kids every year going to Washington, D.C. We taught the court system so they get to see the Supreme Court. We even were invited in with a couple of Supreme Court justices to talk to us individually. We met our senators and representatives, got a chance to see all the founding fathers of this great government. It was just the most exciting thing. And it's one of the things that several have mentioned, that it was a thing that kind of pulled those pieces together about our government. You know, that was great, but it's not enough. You got to be involved with kids. So, student council. Love doing student council. We did the wackiest, most fun things, all the dances. Our kids put everything together, bought all the stuff, and raised tons of money for giving away Christmas gifts and that to needy. Um, so kids got a chance to experience leadership. One year the kids came to me and said, well, you teach us all about local government and all that. What have you served? Hmm, I hadn't. So I ran for mayor and uh, got elected in Shorewood and stayed around for six years. And uh, that was a great experience and got a chance to get kids to get involved in local government go out and work on campaigns to see how propaganda fit into life. It was such a great experience for those kids to go out and do that. And I did mock trials in my courtroom, classroom courtroom. And uh, so everybody learned how to tie a double Windsor tie because uh, I told them all lawyers wear ties, males and females. So we learned the single uh, Windsor, the double Windsor slip knot and the bow tie. Uh, you know, they, and the funny thing about it is you teach all this great stuff about government and then somebody comes back and says, you know the best thing I ever learned in your class? How to tie my husband's tie for him at our wedding. <laughs> so, totally cool. Um, so we went on and did those kinds of fun things. Uh, also, to be involved in being a coach, pole vault coach, and uh, to help kids push themselves to their outer limits. Uh, one of my philosophies of teaching has always been, I do not teach social studies to students. I teach students social studies because it's the individual in my life reaching out to each of those kids and talking about doing the most they can with their life that is where and the teaching part of social studies was just the vehicle, but the life part was each one of those kids. Well, it's been a great honor to be a teacher in this district. It's been a great honor to receive this recognition in the Teacher Hall of Fame. Thank you so much.